Welcome to Talent Development's video training series. My name is Danny Jones. In Talent Development's course, Geometry Foundations, a transparent mirror is used in some lessons to reflect objects. In this video, I want to share some pointers about using the transparent mirror. Let's begin. This is a transparent mirror. This transparent mirror has a beveled edge. It works best to keep this beveled edge towards you when reflecting an object. Let me demonstrate how to use the transparent mirror to reflect an object. Here is an object. Here is the line I will use to reflect it through. Always have the object you want to reflect on the same side of the line as you. Obviously the object is not on my side, so I need to rotate the paper until the object is on my side. Now when I put the beveled edge of the transparent mirror against the line, the image of the object is reflected through the transparent mirror. Now I can trace an exact copy of the image. When I'm finished tracing the object and remove the transparent mirror, the object is reflected through the line. In Unit 1, Lesson 2, students will use a transparent mirror to find both a line of symmetry and reflect an object through a line of symmetry. Students should lay their journals out as flat as possible so that there is no warping of the image reflected through the transparent mirror. Depending upon the thickness of the student journal, teachers may opt to make a photocopy of a particular page for students to use, as I have done for this example. In this example, I will reflect this object two times through two lines of symmetry. This will create a complete 360 degree design. As before, I need to get the object on my side of the transparent mirror and line of symmetry. Then I can reflect the image through one of the lines of symmetry. Now, I make my first trace of the image. You'll notice that because of the mirror's thickness, there will be a small gap between the object and the image. You can fill in this small gap freehand. Rotate the newly traced object Place the transparent mirror's beveled edge on the second line so that it is reflected by the transparent mirror. You can now trace the image again. Fill in the small gaps created by the transparent mirror's beveled edge you can see that we've created a complete 360 degree object with two lines of symmetry. In Unit 4, students use the transparent mirror to find the midpoint of a line segment. Align the transparent mirror perpendicular to the line segment. You will know when the mirror is perpendicular when the line segment and its reflected image are aligned. Keeping the mirror perpendicular, slide it along the line segment until the reflected image of one endpoint aligns to the other endpoint. Now place a mark on the beveled side at the intersection of the transparent mirror and line segment. This mark represents the midpoint of the line segment. To create a perpendicular bisector, use the same steps as creating a midpoint. Match the image's endpoint with the other endpoint. Now, using the beveled edge, draw a line segment. The new line segment is the perpendicular bisector of the original line segment. 
Now you're able to use a transparent mirror to trace an object's reflection, find a line of symmetry, find a midpoint, and create a perpendicular bisector. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and we welcome you to watch other videos in our video training series.